This week, tips to keep you and your family safe online and what's being done to stop sexual assault. First, as you're probably aware, last week ISIS posted the names and addresses of some of our shipmates online. Vice Admiral Swift addressed the issue directly in a blog in this wire. He says, although the threat isn't considered imminent, it has caused natural concern for those named as well as their families. But sharing information smartly and with due caution remains safe. This includes command websites and well-known national and international media. But this is kind of a good time to check your social media settings and habits to make sure you're already doing what you're supposed to. Never share your deployment status, schedule your own address, phone numbers, or personal schedule and location in any information in your posts, tweets, check-ins, or photos. And be careful who you friend or who follows you. Not everyone that sends you a friend request does it for the right reasons. And your safety is more important than the number of followers you have. Also in this edition of The Wire, SecNav reflects on six years and a million miles traveled across the globe and four things to know about the CAP program. The most important being it's for the best and brightest. Finally, April is Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month. This year's theme is Eliminate Sexual Assault. Know your part, do your part. That theme really speaks to the reality here. Each one of us needs to recognize that sexual assault's a real issue and completely unacceptable. But we can stop it. From the E1s reporting to their first command to our COs and everyone in between, we all have a part to play in ending sexual assault. Get involved in your command's awareness program. To learn more about what you can do, there's links to SAPA resources in this edition of The Wire. If you have more questions, be sure to reach out to us here or leave a comment. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC1LA Fabrizio. Thanks for watching.